Welcome back to the John Trading Channel. Bitcoin has finally used this support level to rocket to the upside and we've had positive ticks on the MACD histogram showing there's more momentum coming through on Bitcoin from the buy side. Plus Ethereum is also broken up from this support level looking even stronger than Bitcoin. Plus I have a lot of crypto news to go through with you today so make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video. If you haven't already leave a like on the video make sure you're subscribed for future videos and leave a comment if you're enjoying these daily crypto videos. Let's first look at the Bitcoin one year hodl wave. From this point in the cycle I expect the one year hodl wave will trend down, but the BTC price will trend up. You can see on this chart that the yellow line is actually the one year hodlers and the black line is the price of Bitcoin. You can see that once we really top out in this area and price begins to increase, the one year hodlers begin to decrease. And you can see we're already at that topping level right now, looking like that as we go increasing in the price of Bitcoin, we're going to slightly top out on the one year hodlers and we're going to see a massive price increase for Bitcoin as people are selling out of their positions. Next is the Bitcoin monthly diagonal. Range target is between 111K to 285K. You can see that this price actually shows the beginning of Bitcoin and we're actually holding inside this triangle looking like that the wave five is going to be the last massive push that we see and we're going to top around that $150,000 per Bitcoin level. As I spoke about in previous videos, Bitcoin continues to bounce from two important long-term supports, the 200 weekly moving average and the 111 day moving average. The RSI bullish divergence I mentioned is now also fully confirmed. The healthiest retest is complete. It's now time to get ready for the bullish storm. So not only in this area did we make a bullish divergence where price makes a lower low, but the indicator makes a higher low. And we've also got this yellow line showing the 111 day moving average plus this blue line being the 200 weekly moving average and all three lines are actually lining up perfectly as a confluence zone showing that there is higher potential for Bitcoin to continue to the upside. Plus the Bitcoin weekly impulse has been initiated. From here on out, ignore all posts referring to taking profits, shorting, waiting for pullbacks, halving, QT, treasuries, inflation, QE, it's basically all useless. Bitcoin was literally created for the exact reason these terms are now part of our daily vocabulary. You can see that this bullish pattern curve and how it's actually playing out. You can see that now we're looking to follow this parabolic curve to the upside, potentially going for our fourth wave, then up for our fifth wave at that $150,000 per Bitcoin. You can also see Using all the prices encapsulated, we even followed this parabolic curve back in 2020 and that 2021 bull run. Now it looks like we're following that curve exactly again. We're getting these highs, then having a bit of a sideways movement here before we then continue on this bullish parabolic move to the upside. Before I jump over to the price of Bitcoin, make sure you've liked the video, make sure you're subscribed for future videos and leave a comment if you're enjoying these daily crypto videos. Now in this area, I've been speaking about that it is extremely strong support level for Bitcoin. We also exited the 60 day cycle for Bitcoin on this candle here. And since this cycle was right hand translated, it gives us a higher probability that the next cycle is at least going to be a bullish move to the upside, regardless of if this next move is left or right hand translated. Since the last move was right hand translated, gives us more probability that we've been growing for a longer time than we've been going down, showing that there is more bullish momentum in Bitcoin. You can also see we've got that confirmation here on the MACD histogram. The MACD histogram actually shows which way the volume has been trending. And right now, since back here on the 15th of May, we basically had full bullish trends to the upside. More people have been buying than have been selling. Through this area, we were below the zero line, but once it turns white, it means that there's more bullish momentum being continued in the market. We did have a couple of days of sideways movement, and now we're getting this confirmation of continued bullish uptrend moves above the zero line for the MACD. It's also confirmed in the price. We finally yesterday got a big 5% push to the upside and it's now looking like this $32,000 per Bitcoin level is going to be really, really significant. Plus, I am looking for a small little retest in this area. So let's move over to the four hourly so I can show you my trade setup. Now coming over to the four hourly price on Bitcoin, you can see in this area, the EMA has showed us that we've been slightly up, slightly down. We've been in this trading range 
for Bitcoin. Every time we come low in this area, people are buying. And every time we come high in this area, people have been selling. We finally got that breakout that happened just yesterday. So we finally have been confirmed that we've got a breakout of this trading range. But something that I'm definitely expecting now to happen is to actually come back and retest this resistance zone that will flip to a support zone. Since this was a really strong resistance in the market, it's now going to act as a support level since we got a strong breakup. So what I am expecting is prices to potentially come down into this area, come into the value zone of these two EMAs right in this area here, and also look for a massive push to the upside. Since this resistance got broken through, it's going to act as a support level. And I really think price needs to come down to this level to retest. And it's going to be the perfect level to actually get into your trade. Since you want to be buying, you want to be buying a little bit lower. And since we can basically pull back maybe a percent or two, that's going to be a percent or two in your pocket in the long run. So this is the current trade that I'm actually waiting for right now. We've got that confirmation that bullish moves have high probability in this current market. I need price to now come back into that retracement level using that support and resistance flip that will then act as a strong resistance pushing Bitcoin to the upside, potentially our short-term target, now looking at around $32,000 per Bitcoin. Now coming over to Ethereum on the daily chart, it's looking even more bullish than Bitcoin. Through this area, we were having this strong support level. Reason being is this level through here was actually acting as a resistance level. But what happened? We got a break above this resistance level. We then came back, used the resistance level that got broken through as a support level, and then we continued making these strong pushes to the upside. We then came back, retested this resistance that now is a support level multiple times, and we never actually closed on our low, which was giving me an even more bullish confirmation that we are going to go to the upside. If we got a candle closing on its low somewhere around here, it would have told me that it's not looking as strong as I really would have liked. But you can see we continue to close in this support area. We did have plenty of wicks to the downside, but every time we came down on this price, there are a lot of buyers actually pushing the market back to the upside. Even the MACD histogram is looking stronger on Ethereum. Bitcoin has only been above this zero line for a couple of days, whereas Ethereum has been up for basically one week to the upside. And it's showing that there's a lot more bullish momentum in the market right now then bearish momentum, even confirmed using this 60-day Bitcoin cycle, which can be converted to every single crypto. Since it was also right-hand translated, it shows us that we have more weight on the bullish side than on the bearish side. And this game is a game of probabilities. You're never going to be 100% correct. But if we have a 60% chance of doing a certain move and we set ourselves up with the right risk to reward ratio, then we're guaranteed in the long run to be profitable traders. And that's what we're all trying to do. Now coming over and looking at the four hourly chart for Ethereum, very similar moves through here where we had that sideways action on the EMA signaling to us that we're in a trading range. The goal of a trading range is to sell high and to buy low. And you can see that's exactly what was happening. Every time price came down into this area here, people were buying. A lot of times when price was coming up into this area, people were selling. We tried to have this breakout, but it was a bit of a fake out breakout as we went to the top of the range and then instantly went down to the bottom of the range, which was perfect for trading range traders that were licking their lips on this particular trade. But we finally had that really strong bullish confirmation and we've broken out of this resistance level and as I was just speaking about once this resistance level got broken through as it has just done it's going to act as a support level so what I am expecting is price to potentially come down into this area have a small little retracement actually confirm that this is a resistance support flip and then continue to the upside at around that short-term target of $2,300 per ethereum but when I showed you those other pieces on the news showing the parabolic expression then it actually shows that maybe $23,000 shouldn't be our short-term target, we should potentially be looking to go back to the all-time high for Ethereum in the next short-term run. So I'm actually getting extremely bullish now on crypto. We're finally getting these confirmations that I'm looking for, and I'm trying to set myself up right now with a really profitable trade to the upside. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, leave a like on the video, make sure you're subscribed, and leave a comment if you're enjoying these daily crypto videos. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.